Welcome to Paul's Kitchen. This is Chef Paul. Chef Amy. Chef Alex. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on <clears throat> Mexican street corn and thanks to the whole fact that Amy's beautiful mother and her dad brought her in this world almost 44 years. No. 43, <laughs> 43 years ago. It's somewhat, somewhat quite today, but it's coming up. And sadly Amy works on that day, so we're kind of celebrating a little bit today. So... This is our Mexican street corn. This is very famous on the street corners. So it's going to be really good. It's going to be really tangy. It's very easy to make and it's very healthy. So Amy, please. Let's give her a little mix. Mmm. What do you taste? Everything. It's the so, flavor. Is it really good? Mm-hmm. So stay tuned. We're going to show you how we did this. It's great. It's amazing. Amy's going to be dancing off the uh, <laughs> off the chairs here in a few minutes, off the flavor of this. So I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. Chef Alex. Wow, well, three of us are here together. Yeah. Just think of all the havoc we could wreck. No. Oh, we'd do lots. What do you think, guys? Should this be a prank video? No. Do you think Amy's gonna shave my eyebrow? No. Well, no, of course. You know what we're gonna do today? What are we doing today, Amy? Corn. Something to do with corn. We're doing... Corn dip. Not corn dip. We're doing Mexican street corn. This is uh, a recipe I've seen on YouTube. I've seen quite a few people do it. I thought of some ways to make this a little bit better. So right now I've got my uh, I've got my wok out here, and there's very little to actually. Uh, literally, there's very little that we actually have to cook. In fact, we only have to cook one thing: corn. corn. So generally, the recipe calls for white corn, but. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get that. We yet. like peaches and cream. We do, but we can't find white corn. Mm. So, we're not getting it. So, no. we just, it's not happening. We just, it's not available. So, I'm using frozen corn. And, you know what? I think I'm just going to use one bag. There's a little bit more in there than I thought. So, can you put that away for me, please? So, I've got my wok in here. And... And all we're going to do is we're just going to heat this up and we're going to let this cook down because of course it's frozen because uh, if we eat this this way right now all that's going to happen is Amy's going to wind up with the same teeth I have. Oh. You, you can't <laughs> yeah. do that. No. I lost my teeth due to diabetes. I was undiagnosed for a super long time. Uh, doctors in this area, they kind of like to give you medication pills for things to help you feel better and it's sort of actually fixing a problem. So I got, I, I was undiagnosed with diabetes for a very long time. Uh, so that's why my teeth are going. I'm getting them fixed eventually. It was about two, but then my dentist kind of did some crazy things around the city. He's now dead because the cops had to shoot him because, well, he killed, like, how many people? 23, I think. 23 people. Yeah. We're in Halifax, Nova Scotia, by the way. If you can remember that far back, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> the best part about this, this isn't gonna require a whole lot here. It's just not, it's not gonna take a long time. I'm not gonna add a whole lot to it. However, I am gonna add some. I'm gonna use my low salt, because I just don't like salt. 
because this is just too high in sodium, but I do like the flavor of it. So this gives you a lot there. And I'm going to use some black pepper. <coughs> Last thing I'm going to put in here is some tahini. That stuff's really good. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, it is Guys, really good. Guys, this is tahini. <clears throat> People put this on their sweets, uh, their fruit, their vegetables. I put it on anything. It's Mexican. Uh, if you see this at the grocery store, pick it up. I absolutely love it. A lot of this has to go in the dish anyway, so rather than just <clears throat> applying it afterwards, I'm going to integrate it right in the food. So yes, I am putting a lot in and that's normal. Now there's a lot of different things you can do. Amy, did we buy jalapenos? No. No? I was going to. <clears throat> Oh well, don't need them. <clears throat> you can get the hot Cheetos, you can top it with that. Uh, this is a dish that is served cold, not warm. Uh, you can put jalapenos in, Terho, you can add uh, whatever hot peppers you want. Uh, remember, this is a snack, not a meal. We do have that jar in the fridge, though. So. Nah. No, okay. I would only use fresh in this. All right. I don't want the pickles. So, if if you want an extremely hot, belligerently hot uh, snack, then yeah. Uh, we do have hot sauce for this. But when we serve this in a bit, It's basically uh, corn in a, in a cup. That's what it is. Is mine going to look as pretty? No, nope, because I don't have the same stuff as what they do. But I do have other things. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to cook this corn until it's cooked. We're going to set it off the side and let it cool. So it's probably going to take a while for that. Yeah. So it's not a it. It's a quick dish in the way that it doesn't really need to be. Uh, doesn't necessarily uh, mean it's going to be really quick to make, but it's not hard. It's really super easy. I'm using frozen corn. You can get corn on the cob and you can do it that way. Uh, a lot of uh, people in Mexico, uh, especially their uh, street or their, um, uh, their food trucks will do that. And you can use this in can. Traditionally, it's made with white corn. If you can get that, great. I've not seen it, so I don't know if we can get that in Canada or not, but I've never seen it. Uh, if you get it out of the can, you can do that, but drain the liquids out. We do not need the liquids. No. Just get rid of the liquids. It's not needed, not necessary. Uh, now, I've used that spice on there. You don't have to use any. But later on, we start layering. We're gonna. It's going to ask you to put heat on. Well, I'm figuring, well, you know what? You're going to mix it anyway, so why not just dump it on the rice? So just do that, come back. The corn, you mean? The corn, sorry, yeah. Uh, so come back and just stir it. It doesn't have to be too obliterately crazy. Um, by the way, if you're in Canada and you're, you're, want, and you're wondering, uh, if you're in Canada, we have a store called the Superstore. Right now they're running a promotion for every $20 you spend, yeah. you get a stamp. And you can put those stamps, once you get 20, into buying some cookware. Uh, we just got this brand new walk from them absolutely love it the only thing that would be better than the superstore walk would actually be by spending five hundred dollars for an actual professional walk uh, absolutely love it couldn't ask for better um, so you know what if you're in canada you got the superstore I, i'd be going for that because many of us spend like a couple hundred dollars a month just not, for sat or food food you, you're spending a lot of money a month on this anyways so why not just get your chance, uh, take a good chance and get some new cookware? It's worth it. So I'm not going to film it when it's cold. But again, when this is cooked, I'm going to pull off the side. We're going to wait until it's cold. Then we'll come back and start assembling and we'll do the rest. 
So it's just as simple as that. Uh, so we'll be back when we're ready for that process. <laughs> Welcome back. So before we begin, please hit the like, share, subscribe button. I'm so happy I got a wonderful day with my wife and our son, Alex. Well, I mean, everybody calls him our son. It's true, isn't it? It's true. It's on the same birthday. We stopped and got her some really nice ice cream. Yep. And Terho, mm -hmm. yes, you are right. Alex, or Paul too, is what you like calling him. And, and my wife, Amy, has a stomach of fire and, and so is her butts because you no. see some of the hot sauce they have. So yep. we're done here. So our corn has been seasoned. It's all cooked down. So this is a snack. So we're not going to make a huge heaping serving of it. It's going to do two spoonfuls in each container. We went down to the dollar store and bought some more Tupperware. Just for this, because it's supposed to be corn in a cup. Well, this isn't a quite a cup, but you get the difference. Yeah. We got another bag of corn, so it's not a big deal. <clears throat> so, in this, I'm going to give two spoonfuls of sour cream. Sour cream. Now, this is, uh, it's, it's lower fat. Or so it's fat free. Now, if you're not worried about uh, diabetes or anything else, you can certainly you can certainly uh, go for uh, regular fat. Probably wouldn't hurt you. I forgot to get one thing out here. Our, our fridge is pretty full right now, so give you up here we go. Wouldn't be Mexican if we didn't put an email on it. Yeah, that's true. That's a rule, guys. <clears throat> now, you can use fresh lime, but if you don't have that, lime juice works just as well. Yeah, it does. And to be honest with you, it's a little hard to get fresh lime. Now, yeah. the recipe calls for you to be using... Uh, or uh, butter in this. We're not doing that. Let's bring a little bit of mustard in here. Mayo. Mayo, sorry. Mustard. Now, it's going to... Uh, they like using uh, Frank's hot sauce. We like Frank's hot sauce, but this is Frank's sweet chili sauce. It's hot, and it tastes amazing. No tear ho, buddy. I'm going to tell you, man, get yourself some of this if you can. Frank's, it's it's our favorite brand in Canada, especially in the Mayor Times. And it's sweet chili. It's got a beautiful taste to it. It's not exactly the hottest thing in the world by any means, but, but it will do. You should put some of the hot sauce that I bought in there. No, no, no. <laughs> they don't need to make... ruin it. Oh no, I'm just joking. We, we don't need to make. Uh, we don't need to make it nuclear. It's not meant to be nuclear. It's not meant no. to be overpowering. It's just meant to be hot. So, and we got some uh, shredded parmesan. Parmesan. Just to look at the natural name again. It's parmesan cheese. Now. It calls to use a Mexican version of this. It's we're not in Mexico, so unfortunately, no. it's not that easy to get. I looked all over the last couple of days trying to find it. It doesn't exist here, so it is what it is. You got a knife out here. <clears throat> we did fun white corn, but it wasn't really what we were looking for. Alex Smith speaks. He found white dried corn. They don't want dried corn no. dehydrated. That is, That's what I mean when I say it wasn't what we were looking for. Yeah, it's a totally different product. 
You don't want you don't want dried corn because it's not it's not appropriate. It's not it's not the right stuff. You want to have some moisture. Well, you have to have it moist. Like dehydrated stuffs where they literally drain all the all the water content right out of it, and it's not it's not exactly uh, the right. It's just it's not even the same product. Corn and dried corn are the same thing. No. You, you wouldn't be able to use it for a recipe. It just wouldn't work. So this is it. This is our corn cup. Now a lot of people will just layer it up and just eat it. It's supposed to be a snack, not a meal. So try that out. You can add another layer, do the same thing if you want. It's not a big deal. So hope you enjoy this. Please hit the like, share, subscribe button. And we'll catch you next time.